It's the ones that wow you. In part three of our series, looking back at the career of Ken Bell, we explore heroes, big and small. And we start with an undrafted rookie out of West Alabama who got it done on the big stage. And who was there to ask him the first question? Well, Ken Bell, of course. Look at that. Does a juggling act. Has it to the five first and goal, 33 yards. You and I were at the game. We thought we're preparing for the Patriots to lose. And then suddenly. Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. You and I look at each other and say, what do, why are they throwing the ball? What just happened? And then we go into the media room. He came to the table where I was standing, and I was the only media member there. Well, you're nice. Yes, you're nice. Sir. yes sir. So I started asking questions. The end of the game, it's almost mind boggling. And he was literally just stunned. He could hardly get the words out. I don't think he believed what had just happened. And it was an exciting moment when he happened to come to my table, and I was the only guy there to ask the questions. It was wonderful. I knew it was on the line, and we needed it. And I just beat him to the route and just made the play. Ken Bell has told the stories of the heroes on the big stage, like Malcolm Butler. But what's made Ken's career memorable is his passion in telling the stories of local sports heroes and inspirations. The stories of athletes like Jason Pisano of West Warwick. And the amazing Jason Pisano, who refuses to let cerebral palsy interrupt his athletic dreams. So we're doing an hour coverage of the downtown 5K live on the air. And there's this wheelchair going backwards, finishing the race. And so we ended the broadcast. The next day I went down to Jason Pisano's house. He has cerebral palsy. He's pushing himself backwards in a wheelchair. This was just mind boggling to me with one foot. And he ended up taking on the Boston Marathon and he left at like one in the morning to push himself backwards all night over the 26.2 miles and was able to finish. Inspirational. These are the moments that Ken remembers fondly. Locals whose success is inspirational here and everywhere. That's why another West Warwick tale stands out to Ken. From West Warwick, Rhode Island, number 22, Tom Garrick. 1988, Tommy Garrick was a star for West Warwick High School, the Wizards, then he went on to URI, and then the Rams went into the NCAA tournament. But what was significant about that is that Tommy's dad was blinded in World War II. So Tommy's dad would go to the games and Tommy's brother would do play-by-play -play of the game for his dad sitting there listening to the game. And when everybody stood up over a magic moment and waving the white flag for the URI Rams, there is Mr. Garrick waving the white flag and Brent Musburger on the air saying how sweet this is. Tommy Garrick's dad, it was, it was a magic moment. There were other moments and topics we could have talked about. Ken following Vinny Paz, Ken's relationship with Ben Mondor and the Paw Sox, Ken following the Celtics from Larry Bird to Paul Pierce. All in all, it's been a magical run, and we've been so happy to look back with you at Ken's 35 years here at Channel 6. I'm Nick Coit, ABC6 Sports.